Hello everybody, my name is Unpo, and yes, we're doing a Splatoon 3 Direct React. Why? Well, for one thing, if you guys didn't know, I actually play Splatoon. Very big fan. I played the original pretty late in its lifetime, sadly, like when the Wii U is about to die, so uh, yeah. But uh, I also played Splatoon 2, which was a really good time from day 1 to basically the DLC and all that stuff. I really love Splatoon, and I... I just like I love the world and all that stuff. The music it's super great. <sighs> but anyway, Splatoon 3 is just around the corner. And it's been rumored that it would release on September 9th. I kinda wish it was a bit earlier, but I'm sticking with September 9th, and I feel like it's going to be explained here, at least somewhere in the video. But yeah, um the surprising thing about Splatoon 3 direct in this one, it's 31 minutes long at least, or 32 minutes long. I wonder how much they're gonna talk about, because, let's see, I get the feeling they're gonna re retell, like, Turf War again, but maybe they go all over some more mechanics and maps, possibly, and maybe some weapons. I wonder who are the idols, are they gonna release the, I are they gonna announce the idols for this game? Possibly. There was also Salmon Run, which was been, hint which was been given to us already by Nintendo, so, maybe a bit more stuff there, I hope, but, yeah, without further ado, Further to, further ado, let's begin. Oh god, I'm so I'm just so glad we have a new like Splatoon game. Honestly, although I kind of wish it was a bit earlier. That's the only thing. Also, from the trailers, it seems like post-apocalyptic. So I guess like something related to King Chaos from Splatoon Two. But of course, we see the town. Which to me is actually like this is Splatsville in the heart of the Splatland. Okay, so that's the official name, Splatsville. So it's not Inkopolis. Despite its old-fashioned appearance, it's seen Two, enormous you know? growth in recent years. Three, it's just Splatsville. Finally, a new it's name. It's also the hottest new place for Inklings looking it for seems, things to do. It really is more like a mixture of Japan, oh, hello, basically, everyone. like Hope old school Japan, fresh. which is actually really nice. Introductions. We're the researchers from the Squid Research Lab. We're simply fascinated by what these inklings can do. They can splat ink in kit form and smoothly swim through it in swim form. You I get the feeling that this was a squid form, but night. okay. <laughs> Why okay, swim form, we really okay. Today, we'd like to share some new findings on these inklings while providing summaries throughout. Be good to see octolings back, though. We saw. Of course, what goes for the inklings also applies to the octolings. We're sure of it. Seems First, like we have new war. animations. That's nice. Get styling with some fresh fashion, and get inking with even fresher weapons. Naturally, in a place called Splatsville, oh, turf war battles okay. are the locals' favorite pastime. Two teams of four will ink for three minutes. Okay. The team that inks the most in their three minutes, in other words, three claims minutes. the most turf. I think I'll put myself wins. here. Yeah. Okay. That's a little bit. Okay. Now, that's not all inking is for. Ink walls to swim up. Okay, it's just like the old games. Okay. Or get sneaky and hide an ink to splat opponents. The more ink you spread. The bigger the advantage you'll have in battles. Honestly, like for most of this, if like of we it, already so know, any old Splatoon player would already know about this. But if this is good for the new players. Like the squid surge to swim up walls in a single. So you can not, Okay, so now you can burst up walls. And the roll to jump out of ink while simultaneously turning around have also been spotted. So it's a dodge. So there's a dodge mechanic in the game. That's good. That's like what most oh, shooter games well, should have like a this, dodge roll. The move also <laughs> okay. slightly repels ink from opponents. So super armor, okay. So good. There's some armor, so it isn't We've cheap. We've discovered okay. where these turf war battles will take place. Stages confirmed for the Splatlands include the Splatlands. Scorch Gorge. Okay, we saw this from the uh, actual Alley. direct from last Mystic year, so that's good. Ooh. An undertow spillway. There seem to be other stages. That looks as well. like the area from the tutorial Haggle section of market. like two months. Here think. filled to the bream with street vendors. Fish market. The stuff here looks fishy though. 
That's actually a pretty good mistake. Several though. stages from Greater Inkopolis also return. Wait, it's not Inkopolis Square. Is it just Sino? It's good to see the Splatoon 2 stages back, but it's called Greater Museum. Inkopolis. Isn't it like Inkopolis Square? Wall. Greater? Why is it Greater now? Hammerhead Bridge. This That's Hammerhead Bridge. bridge. Greater Inkopolis to the Splatlands. After lots of construction work, it's finally open. Thanks to the bridge, Jeez, the view. to and from Greater Inkopolis is much. Wasn't easier. Hammerhead Bridge like Mahi -Mahi in a state in a store? Wasn't Hammerhead Bridge a store a facility? Resort in Greater Inkopolis. I guess Take it was just a part of the, the bridge. That sink Inkopolis one state. On. Uh, England. There will be Between more one areas stage. to ink afterwards. Finally, so don't forget this one. This is one of my favorite stages in Splatoon One, even though Including it's a little the stages hard. you see here, a total of twelve await. So Splatoon One and Two. More stages with will be added three, in right? free post-launch updates. You gotta be kidding me, really? Free updates? Nintendo, you gotta stop doing free updates and now, stuff like that. Let's get into honestly. the inky like, essence of battles. Just put what everything in. You have time. <laughs> you have time. Just put First, everything in. That's it appears fun. that all the basic weapons from previous games will be available. That's good to hear. On top of that, Splatland so specific weapon types, such as the bow-like stringers, will okay. make their destructive debut. Horizontal and vertical. That's actually good. That's actually nice. We've also verified a new weapon type called Splatanas. So this is the Splatana wiper. Send blades of ink flying. So it's a sword weapon. So it's a sword weapon. Okay, <laughs> it's a sword weapon. Swing after charging up a bit, and it'll transform into a charged slash. I always wanted as a sword weapon. <laughs> powerful as a long-range attack, but the charged slash at close range is also quite devastating. Okay, so it looks like. Okay, so it's so it's basically Let's all around ranger. That okay. Can help you claim even more Spider squid. <laughs> special weapons. Mm. As the name implies, these are special kinds of weapons that can be unleashed after filling up the gauge from inking turf. Okay. I know you guys cannot see this most of it, but like, yeah. So let's take a closer look. Okay. That's a. This is the tactic cooler. When it's activated, a fridge appears. You'll find in-game beverages stored inside. These have a so the, so it's a perk. Okay, so it's like increasing speed. Okay, so it's a perk. They come type. in packs of four. So take one and share the rest with your teammates. <laughs> um, this that's cool. is the wave breaker. When activated, it'll unleash waves around the area. It'll also mark an opponent's location oh, and cause okay. damage. Damage? Try to avoid them with a well-timed jump. Okay. This is that's gonna be annoying in matches, Finally, I can tell. <laughs> the reef slider. Build up power, then charge into opponents who need a good splat. Once the attack ends, it'll explode and damage the surrounding area. That's cool. Familiar that's cool. special weapons like the Tenta missiles, Ink Jet, Ink Storm, Ultra Stamp. Okay. And Booyah Bomb will also make their grand return. At least Booyah Bomb makes a return. But I'm surprised. That's it? Special weapons are okay. paired with main weapons. Okay, so besides the, the new ones, the only old supers style. we get is... from Splatoon 2. Well, that's okay. I was kind of hoping the Kraken will Shop make a return. Shop here to get your tentacles on some what fresh what? weapons. Okay. This is Ammo Knights. Owned by the chatty horseshoe crab Sheldon. I think I'm gonna put myself in the corner right here. Weapon wisdom and I think this is the only place that nothing else appeared, so that's good. I think. Instead of using in game currency for purchases, you'll need these Sheldon licenses. So it's a new currency. Obtain them by leveling up through battles oh. and by consistently using the same weapons. Good, that's good. One Sheldon license can be exchanged it for one so weapon that corresponds So, if you play the weapon long level. enough, it doesn't power up the weapon anymore, does it? Okay. Oh, and just between us? I think. If you exchange more Sheldon licenses Ooh. than normal, it appears he'll give you a weapon you like sooner than expected as a special reward. That's good, I think. That would add, I don't know how much balance would these weapons have, but that, that's way, actually a good, that's actually good. At least I don't need to farm for gold. Gold farming for Splatoon was painful, Things to say like the least. Headgear, clothing, and shoes are just as important as weapons. Okay, so the same types of clothing. Okay. 
Gear can be obtained in the shops around here. I don't know. This is my thing. Each one is managed by an interesting shopkeeper. So let's drop in. This is not couture, a headgear shop. You'll find an array of hats, masks, and glasses so you can get ahead of the game. The laid-back Nautilus, Gnarly Eddie, and the energetic Nails, the snail sitting here, run the shop. Nails. Just... It's, this is the say pig Latin? Mana wardrobe. Ooh, nice. It specializes Jealous, in tops, like t-shirts and jackets. The shopkeeper, Gel Lafleur, might be a touch archaic with words, but this jellyfish has a keen eye for fashion sense. They're gonna finally, freeze there. The shoe store crush stage. That's a big fella. Get a variety of cool kicks here, from sneakers to sandals and even leather footwear. So just like the old game. Sandal? Is sandals a new thing here? He might look intimidating, but deep down, he's a nice guy. Probably. He seems like a nice guy. You're the more than boy. welcome to pick out gear based on its appearance. But they do come with abilities that can help you out in battle. Is there any new abilities? I kind of forgot Take about that. Run speed up, Since it's a new example, game, they have to have new abilities, it can right? Increase your running speed. Or intensify. Oh yeah, they do. This improves the squid roll and squid okay. surge move. That's actually that's useful. That's, that would be useful. There are even to discover. Kind of. It does give you super armor though, so that's good. Plus, there's a fellow in Splatsville who can swap one ability with another. Sorry for the background noise. Talk to Merch here, and Cannot you can add an ability of your choosing now. to your favorite gear. Merch. Munch? Is it Merch? Merch. Merch. Okay. And if so you a new person. Your gear of course, we're getting a lot of characters fits, here, so it makes sense. You can change in a flash. Yeah. Flavor up your change fashion to, with whatever outfits fit you want. Register. Okay, Simply so. -tastic. So presets. Okay, that's good. Presets. That's good. Finally, presets. I didn't want presets for a long time. Welcome to the lobby, a gathering spot for those seeking. This is a fresh very battle. more spacious lobby. It's really nice. It's really Turf pretty looking. battles aren't the only things that happen here. Okay. You can also square off in anarchy battles. So it's not called ranked anymore. It's just called anarchy. Hold so this is the rank mode. Of the yeah. So this is the rank mode of the game. Just called Ride anarchy. The tower to the goal in tower I mean, name change is fine, but. I think we all know at this point Carry the same the color. Rainmaker to its destination in Rainmaker. You're not gonna question. Or collect and throw clams to score in No, I don't actually know question, but I'm just curious that I don't remember Rainmaker to be in Splatoon 2 for a while for some Wanna reason. Wanna take on a challenge solo? Select Anarchy Battle Series. Okay. But if you want to team up with friends, joining Anarchy Battle Open is the way to go. Finally! Rank. You can also play Fre rank battles with friends. <laughs> Finally, Set rank with friends. That's that's the thing liking. I need. Why not play with your favorite battle okay. modes alongside Finally, friends? Finally, an option for friends to come in and play. Information rank. about these game modes will be available soon on okay, the September 9th. website. Okay, September ninth. Okay, September ninth. Okay. Okay. Kind of wish it was earlier, but oh well. Now, let's talk about the features within the lobby. This is the test range. Try out and get comfy with your weapons. The music's actually good. You can hear the music. It's really good. It's also a great place to get Honestly, all warmed up while waiting for I don't know. rivals. This to music join actually gives me some Sonic vibes for some reason. Next up, kind of. ghosts. Man, that's Online ghosts? friends will appear as 3D hmm. holograms. Okay. Drop in on friends in the midst of battle and play alongside them. You can also join up and okay. start a battle on the same team. Good. We can actually. We don't need to wait. We can just jump into another person. That's good. Real time that training. That's nice too. To okay, that's good. And invite them for battles. Okay. Why not see these features for yourself? I would like to if the game released. It. This is where you can view battle replays. Battle it appears that it can somewhat recreate recent battles. Okay, so replay feature, that's good. This will be good for clips. At least nobody needs to record stuff for clips on the sketchy 
reporting in section 4 to switch. To switch reporting is kind of lame Incredible. though. That's the only problem. So this is good. Not only can you rewatch battles as many times as you mm. like, but there's even a share feature. A share we feature. We hope you'll use this handy tool to help you rank up. Finally, okay, finally. Next, we'll analyze and discuss this space within the lobby. The hmm. locker room. There's locker rooms, okay. Here, you'll find some fresh lockers. One is yours, and the others belong to players with whom you've recently played. So we can just go into As people's privacy see, in their lockers. Okay, that's that's weapons, that's nice. Gear, that's nice. And items to your I life. guess. Physics. Slap on some snazzy stickers. And modify your locker's color. That's nice. This is your space to express yourself. So customize it however Ish. you'd like to show off your signature splatting style. That's nice. That's actually really nice. I don't know if I'm going to be doing that, yes. but it's nice. Items can be obtained at Hotlantis, a general store on the edge of Splatsville. Apparently, the store manager vanishes quite often. So instead, it's run by an artist named Harmony. She used to be a regular customer here. It's got an outlandish assortment of items. Why not so show the, the original owner is missing goods. for a lot for a lot of times? Okay. That's weird. There appear to be plenty of other customization features. Will you get as well. more info for hairstyles? When That's kind of want to know. These splash tags appear. Big money open. <laughs> they can be customized with a banner, badge, <laughs> and title. That's good. A lot more custom customization. You can change tags. the emote your character performs Emotes. when you win a battle. All of these okay. can be obtained via the Those emotes catalog, look much better. <laughs> Those be emotes look much better than any other game's emotes. By using points earned from battles, you gotta be kidding. You unlock various <laughs> kidding items. Why the dab? Splash tags <laughs> and seasonal gear. <laughs> Following the game's launch, oh the new catalog okay, they're a bit late. They're really late on that, but I guess years. now we can actually be dab sure on to everything you see. Thank God, I guess. <laughs> Phew. There's still a lot of info to share, but I need to take a little breather here. Okay, I'm going to uh in the Wait, sorry for that brief pause of my recording and the video, but I'm going to do some stuff real quick. Most likely uh me close the door and hopefully there be more less background noise. Sorry about that. Okay, so I do have one thing, I got a phone call from my doctor, so I'm gonna have an appointment soon, so I'm gonna pause the video again, hopefully not at the wrong time, but okay, let's continue. So what were we looking at again? Introducing Table Turf Battle! Table Turf Lay out battle? your cards for a dazzling deck duel! Ink different shapes with different cards! Charge up power, then unleash it all at once with a special attack! The announcer is actually like going this. hard right Everyone now. Like this, and there are over 150 cards to collect in game! So the art style is chibi, it's so cute. It's like in the manga, it's like the manga, it's like the, it's like the, the models are like in the manga style. At least the pictures for the cards. Table turf battle! Chibi manga style. Every player will be gifted an in-game starter deck! So, basically dueling. Excuse me. Dueling is a thing in this game. For a second there. That was Table Turf Battle, a 1v1 competitive card battle spin-off of Turf War. Okay. It appears you can play this at the Table Turf Battle Dojo in Splatsville. So this is like the, the newest mini- this is like a mini game thing just to kill some time. And now, right? this! Oh, Salmon Run, here we go, here we go. Let's see anything new here. Oh, we're back! Okay! Salmon Run is a simple job that requires four players to work together to collect power eggs from the Salmonids advancing on them. So yeah, this if you guys didn't know, this is technically does- This is technically well, if you guys play like any other like first-person shooter games, it's like, boss salmonids, you know, you zombie mode. Valuable golden eggs. But you know, it's not exactly. You'll need it's to just collect like, and deliver plenty of golden eggs in order to complete this job. It's kind of its own thing. That can go. <laughs> that can go. Okay. We've confirmed some new types of boss salmonids, so let's share our findings. Okay, let's see what the new ones are. First up, 
the slammin' lid. It creates barriers and protects salmonids on the ground. Get too close to it, okay. and it'll attempt to crush you. So approach okay, with caution. So, okay, so it's a spawn point for them. Okay. Next, the big shot. Become a big shot. <laughs> heavy projectiles he did. Well, that's why it did become a big shot. Prepared that's for powerful shock waves when they land. No, that's gonna be annoying too. With new boss salmon, it's confirmed. Make sure okay, so, you're ready for Okay, so they can kill each other. That's nice. Run. The music is a little distorted though. This is one of the new King Salmonids. Unbelievable! It looks like they'll occasionally appear just before you complete the job. Okay, so there's... Okay. The tank on your back is a specially provided egg cannon. So there's a zombie boss. Like an actual an zombie to deal boss. Massive damage. Okay. However, these battles are under a time limit. So rack Wait. up as much damage as possible to drive okay. them back. Okay. I wonder if it's possible to actually kill it. What the... New map? And this... This is the still being researched big run. We believe this is when salmonids invade the city in which Icklings and Octolings live. It appears that this event happens once every few months. So brace yourselves! Big run is coming! The announcer is really going hard on this. Oh, story mode. Okay, let's go. Now Observe this manhole in Splatsville Square. Just like in Splatoon this 1. This is actually the entrance to the home That's of nice. the Octarians, the that animation long time enemies. As Agent 3, the newest recruit Agent to the new Squidbeak Splatoon, you'll do battle with the Octarian army, whose members are covered in hair for some reason. Yeah, I don't know about hair. Along with your buddy Small Fry, you'll explore many stages, each one full of twists so wait. and turns. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. Story mode is perfect for getting familiar with ink okay, so and using weapons. Okay, so this is more like the Octo. So this is more similar to Octo expansion. Okay. Well, in terms of it, far, like how it looks. What awaits okay. the Inklings and Octolings in the end? But we hope you can witness this, the this epic finale of this splatastic saga. New cutscenes. Oh, finally, we got cutscenes. We actually got good cutscenes. We're back in Splatsville. From here on out, we'd like to talk about other wanna... features that'll help you enjoy your splatting escapades even more in the split. I'll, I'll talk about game. I'll talk about my field box. You can post illustrations this here the the via video. this mailbox. They'll be displayed all across the city and even in stages. So put on your artist cap and post away. Okay. Vertical illustrations Art. will also be supported. Finally, people don't need to you rotate can their switches. Food and drinks just that'll to do help it. you in battles at the concession stand. More food. Or use local communication to play with nearby folks in your favorite modes at the shoal. Ah, <sighs> you know that almost nobody By uses using that. Photo mode, you can snap selfies. Photo mode. Send photos to a smart device. Or display them in your locker. That's nice. This is the recon guide. We come. Select your favorite stages at any time and take a stroll around them. So prac okay, so it's practice mode. You can get an hour worth of practice. <laughs> okay. An hour? That's the time limit. Okay. Good, we have practice mode. This is Splatnet 3. Okay. Phone you stuff. Can use this with your smart device. It contains features like checking your latest battle stats. Okay. And ordering special in-game gear not sold in shops from the Splatnet gear shop. Okay, that's so not all. so phone exclusive features like crusty gear. Fine, crust. okay. Support this fellow's journey using ink points earned depending on the areas you inked during battles. So Sean is now or relegated to a phone. To take a trip down memory lane with your past ranks. That's that's fine, I guess. Okay. You can also snag special wallpapers and more for your smart Ooh. device. So be sure to grab them. Yeah, I would actually grab it a wallpaper for my phone. Will be available like... at launch via the Nintendo Sorry Switch for the background noise. Life. I cannot actually stop that type of noise. 
don't know what's going on outside now. Next up, Amiibo figures. Of course, Scan Amiibo. Scan Splatoon series Amiibo at this spot in Splatsville. And mm. voila! Saving your favorite mm. gear combinations as fresh as fits will allow you to easily swap outfits. Okay. So... Additionally, it seems you'll be able to get special gear and even snap photos together with Amiibo. Why did that have... And Why? Splatoon 3 Amiibo incoming! Those look nice. Those actually Release look nice. scheduled for this holiday. I still want a Kelly Amiibo though. Now, let's talk about post-launch updates. As we mentioned a while ago, Following the game's launch, a new in-game catalog will be released every three months for two years. Okay. To every two years. New they're, weapons. They're going for the long run the for this game. Okay. Each catalog. New weapons. Okay. 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 The new stages too. In addition, X Battle, available after attaining an extremely high rank in Anarchy Battle. I'm never gonna battle. make through that. <laughs> Every two hours you can compete in teams based on your anarchy battle results are planned to be added in future updates. Okay, so the updated league battle. Furthermore, X, I don't know about X battles game, though. We're planning to add large scale paid DLC. Of course, give us DLC. More details will come. Okay, those, that's later Pearl time. Marie. So please be Pearl, on the lookout. Pearl and, and now, Marina from I'd like to Splatoon wrap up 2. This research report from the Squid Research Lab. That's it? Thank you for watching. No idols? Okay. So. Pearl and Marina will come as DLC. God damn it. Their storyline. Oh. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? So we do get idols. Those are those so those are our idols. Oh, so we got another squid. octo I and to tell Inkling you about and Manta Ray. That's They're nice. An incredibly popular trio who hosts the Splat So our idols are Splat is a trio. Best. That's nice now. Okay, that, that actually does spice things up. They provide makes sense. On Two and three, we would get well three idols. So bulletins. that makes sense. Okay, the same. So they do act While the same. We're on the subject, the youngsters of Splatsville own sea cucumber phones. Flip phones. They can check the news while doing other activities. That's Should nice. Does this mean we don't need to watch the and... opening cutscene every single time when we get in? Ooh. Of course, Splatfest. Splatfest is coming, so no dirt. Man, here's the thing. Splatfest nights in the hub world is so pretty no matter what. It's honestly is. The music is... Is this is this calamari incantation? Yeah, I think it's another remix of it. I mean, it's not Splatoon if you don't have another like version of calamari incantation. This, this music, this is, this music is just such a vibe. I love it. I really, I really feel like dancing to this now, honestly. I mean, the, the thing is, Splatoon music will always make you want to dance, honestly. Or at least just bop and vibe. That's the fact for this series. I love this. I never actually realized that the hub world is so big. It's been confirmed that yeah. Splatfest will make a return. I mean, it's inevitable. Awesome. In these events, this is not, it's not Splatoon, but about Splatfest, the honestly. Theme, the Macarena. <laughs> the Macarena? <laughs> is it? Oh no. And this time around, there will be three teams to choose from. Three teams? 
What? Three teams? Oh, in the first half, teams will compete in 4v4 turf war battles. The second half... There's a second half? ...is a tricolor turf war. I knew it. Okay. How does this work? Where... How does Whoa! this work? Three teams fight at the same time. Three teams All fight at the same time. players on the okay. team currently in first place will start in the center of the stage. Okay. Two players each from the second and third place teams will attack the first place team from opposite ends of the stage. How does first and second and third place work in this game then? Or will the other two teams exact revenge and force them out? Okay. Use so it's basically red versus blue and, and yellow. Okay. Red versus the blue and yellow. Or at least any vice versa, basically. Okay, that's nice to know. Okay, we're going to close out that's this presentation the, that's the with the That's the brightest blue I ever see. <laughs> oh god. This is this looks so nice that night too. And okay, Splatfest. Splatfest is super interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> this is very old school Japanese on everything. There's so much reference to traditional Japanese. I love it. I love it. Wait, a world premiere Splatfest? So the game does release early then, for the Splatfest. For one day of the week. Okay, okay. Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> I have a rock once it broke on me. Okay. I'm gonna put my face over here now to die just to get out of the way from the dialogue. Since there's three of them. Logically. <laughs> I think that's because Big Man only has fins. But he doesn't have fingers. <laughs> he got a point. <laughs> this is interesting. A fir the first time, uh, the first splash fest that's going to be three teams. There's so much energy in this one, though. There's so much energy and stuff. Not. There's more? And now, announcing the Splatoon 3 Enter the Splatlands Invitational okay. 2022 Tournament. This okay. event will take place on September 5th at PAX West. Some of the top finishers from this summer's Splatoon 2 Inkopolis Showdown will head to Seattle and compete in North America's first ever Splatoon 3 Invitational. Okay. okay. Follow the official Nintendo vs. Twitter account for updates. And to see more of our research findings, so this is interesting. We them, follow the official Splatoon North American Twitter account. Okay. We hope you'll have an incredible time starting September 9th. Bye bye. Oh, that's a good direct right there. Okay. And we have this. Okay. So, just going over, we have three new idols, some new weapons, just two new weapons actually, but they, are, they did say you're gonna put in more weapons in, so that's okay. So, the game is already big as it is. It makes sense. Better than how they, better than how Nintendo did for Battle League, honestly. Much better than they did for Battle League. But, man, okay. So, by the time Splatoon 3 releases, we'll have free updates. That is... I don't really like the way that they have to do, like, three, um, you know, 
free updates every time when they have to do something like this, but it is what it is. It's their way. But I really hate it that they keep doing this like free DLC. Why not? you have you have time. You have at least like four weeks. You have at least a month to actually add these stuff in already. So you might as well like try to instead of putting them as free updates. But then again, I guess that kind of makes sense to prolong the lifespan. But that does mean that Nintendo is not planning to put another console out. So I guess that's good in a way. And it will give the longevity of um, Splatoon 3 much more longer than Splatoon 2. Oh well. I'll be right back for more explanation. I just gotta take this phone call. Okay, I'm back. So, <sighs> so just, yeah. Splatfest is good. Salmon Run, gotta talk about that. It seems like it's going to be more of a zombie mode than just zombie-like. It seems like once a month, like they said, we're going to have a Salmon Run that takes place in one of the Turf War maps. Okay, that's nice. Okay, there's the new X Battle, so... I honestly, even though I play a lot of Splatoon, I don't, I'm not really that much of a high rank. I am actually really good, just not a high rank because I don't really want to play rank all that much. And of course, because of previously for Splatoon 2, it always rotates, so I don't have enough time to actually get my rank up higher because, you know, it keeps rotating. But that's interesting. I would try to get a high rank. I wonder, I'm still wondering if rank is still based on the single arcade mode or anarchy mode or is it all commu uh, commutative that's the only thing I'm worried about um the big there's new like mini bosses I would say for salmon run that's still good and then the big guy they didn't say the name yet but they I see the name they just don't say it which I think we all know how to pronounce it I need to see that again just to make sure um Weapons, they're nice. I kind of wish we actually have a weapon for, like, maybe we can have, like, the Inglings and Octolings, like, punch each other or something, you know, like a gauntlet weapon. I kind of really want that. I hope that's into the future of the update because there's only two weapons available, basically, at launch. The bow and arrow and the sword. I'm going to main the sword. But, like, I want a gauntlet weapon. That's the only thing I kind of want. I want to punch my enemies. I mean, like... I mean, we have a roller that's technically a melee weapon. We have, like, the brushes that act like swords, so that's also a melee weapon. Why not just punch? I don't know. As for the last point, uh, the idols, um, it's gonna take me a while to remember their names, because, in all honesty, I would actually remember their names once I get the game, because having them first announced here, I kind of know their names. It's just that it's gonna be hard for me to remember them. Kinda right now, I do know one's an Octoling, one's an Inkling, and one's a Manta Ray. Which is actually pretty neat that we have three idols, which makes sense, since it's between three. What makes sense that it would be three idols, and I should have seen that coming. As for what does, like, Team Chaos kind of relates to the story in this game? We can on only time will tell until the game actually release. It seems like the game will be early released on the 27, possibly, for the Turf War. August 27, we might actually see the game, at least a free version of the game, for people to play on that day only for Splatfest. And possibly, or just get ready for playing Splatfest, basically. I am going to buy the full game. That's the fact. Full-scale DLC, that they say. Um, I don't remember how much Octo Expansion costs, but I do hope it's Octo Expansion level of price. But it is bigger, and it does include Pearl and Marina, which did not actually appear in the Direct at all, even in the story. At least, hopefully, they would be included in the story, the main story, but as DLC, I guess that's fine. It's good to see them back later. Those heels, though, I the silhouette of those heels, that's, uh, that's pretty nice. But either way, um, I think that's about it. Does... Also, the, the designs for the uh, new idols we have here, they're all really good, although the Octoling looks a lot like a, another Pokemon character. If you guys know who I'm talking about, then leave a comment down below, and 
maybe I will see if the name is correct because honestly, I didn't don't really follow that much Pokemon recently. I mean, like I'm back into the fandom. It's just that uh, I don't know, not exactly the biggest fan of Pokemon uh, enjoyer most likely. But yeah, either way, that's basically it for the video. Um, overall, I love I love this. I love it, and it's good to hear Splatoon music for the longest time, especially new renditions. I'm betting that the one they have for Splatfest is basically the new version of Kamari Incantation, basically. That's how I think. But either way, that's it for the video, and that's it for the reaction. Hope you guys enjoy that. And I didn't say this in the beginning of the video, but if you want to watch the direct for yourself, link in the description down below. Hopefully Nintendo doesn't take this video down, and it's obviously going to be copyrighted. I mean, come on. Either way, I'm some Pope. I'll see you guys later, and I might see you guys in Splatoon 3, because I am going to get the game, for sure. I just hope that maybe the replay games I do have would link up to YouTube so I can just download my Splatoon replays on YouTube because that would be much more easier. You might not hear my voice, but at least you will see some content for that. I just hope that's the case. The Wii U kind of had it, but it didn't really work because of uh, internet connections and stuff like that. And Splatoon 2 doesn't have that. It's more complicated. You need a capture card, so yeah. hopefully uh, that'll be available soon. But yeah, I'll see you guys in Splatoon 3. Possibly earlier. Hopefully they give us a free trial first before the release. That's about it.